Welcome to my channel and in this episode I will be showing you how to create this gradient effect for your text elements. Uh, we will be applying this effect uh, to uh, all links, uh, but also it can be applied to any other random elements you want. So you see now this element is not a link, it's just a piece of text. So let's start uh, with uh, a blank page with some text. Um, well. Uh, this page consists of just two elements, which one is like h1 header, uh, then break, and just a piece of large text, uh, which is uh, basically body copy text. And uh, well, let's create a link. Uh, we're gonna make this phrase a link. We can use cargo panels to connect it. Uh, well, cargo, Twitter, whatever. Uh, and press save. And now you see that this phrase is wrapped into a link tag. So that's what we want. And let's start with this phrase and uh, let's create just a first gradient. Uh, you need to go to CSS editor and start typing. I will make some room here so it's better to perceive, uh, but yeah, you don't have to do that. Let's start with A. That means that uh, we are applying this effect to all links for our website. I'm not gonna go with hover thing right now, uh, so I'll make it a bit later. A, background, linear gradient, and uh, I'm going to define properties of my gradient inside these braces. But before I'm doing that, uh, let me explain how it works. So first of all, a gradient has uh, like first value is amount of degrees and then a row of colors. That means like 90 degrees means that it will be horizontal gradient. So the first color starts on the left and the last color will be on the right and uh, 100 80 degrees means that we will go from top to bottom and that will be um, just vertical gradient. Uh, that does not matter how many colors you have there, it's just a direction. Uh, well, uh, here I have like hexadecimal numbers of my colors and my first color is going to be this one, like red color, which starts from left. And also uh, here we have uh, like starting point. So this color starts at 0%, this second color starts at 24%. Uh, well, it can be pretty precise amount of percents. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I created this gradient using Figma and I can go to inspect panel and check mm, this properties and let's just copy them but you don't really need to do that you can uh, you can just remove all these parts and the result will be pretty the same it's not that uh, necessary to be so, so precise to use um, like large uh, numbers and um, note that all colors are separated by comma you can also place them in a row uh, yeah just to make it, uh, your code um, smaller but I'm gonna show you uh, I'm gonna show you like that because uh, this is like more visual let's copy this part and paste it here but before let's say 90 degrees 90 dag comma space and here is our colors uh, cargo has these small rectangles so you can control your colors uh, using cargo panels. It's kind of handy because you can click and you can change your colors here. And also uh, watch how uh, this amount of percents change um, what we have here. So like watch this blue color. And when I change amount of percents, it moves. So you can uh, redefine your colors however you want here. Now to make it work, uh, you need to add two more lines. First line is background clip. Yeah, you can find it here in the list, background clip uh, text. Copy this phrase and add it uh, with WebKit so more browsers see uh, this effect because uh, this effect doesn't work well on all browsers. Yeah, WebKit. Uh, and the second step and the last step is to add text fill color. Uh, 
uh, color. It's going to be red because cargo um, do not support this thing, even though it's going to be working. So for some browsers, it's not working uh, well. This uh, this customization is not so reliable, but still, I'm going to show you how to do that. It works on um, like on my browser. It's Google Chrome, so it will be working on uh, other browsers, some other browsers as well. Uh, text fill color and the value is transparent. Yeah, uh, and you need uh, to copy this line and also add WebKit. Yeah, mm, what's wrong? Uh, now it's not working. Uh, I wonder why. Ah, because I add WebKit, or not WebKit, sorry. Yeah, now it works. So now you see that our color, uh, text has a uh, liner gradient color and to make it work on hover, just let's add hover. Yeah, that's kind of easy. And uh, let me save this part and show you how to apply this effect to other uh, text elements. First thing we need to add classes uh, to some uh, particular elements so we can make them work. So uh, that's how we can apply this effect not to all links for our website but to some uh, particular elements. I'm gonna go with this uh, hello phrase. Uh, it's wrapped into h1 tag and I need to add a new class here. Note that I'm not adding this class to h1. I'll show you why. Uh, but I'm going to use another tag. I'm going to wrap this text into span tag. Span and closing tag span. Um, span. Uh, yeah, and in here I need to add class. Well, let's call it gradient. And also let me apply this effect to some um, as a phrase, like let's say this phrase. I also can uh, wrap it into spun, so you will see no visual changes, but um, when we will uh, we'll be hovering uh, over this phrase, we will see how it works. Uh, let's copy this part and paste it here, and uh, instead of a, let's say dot gradient, and now when I hover over this element or this element, I will see this gradient. And let's change gradient. I want it uh, to be like that. Let me copy these two colors. And first of all, let's change amount of degrees. And uh, yeah, let's remove these colors and add new colors. Yeah, and now you see that we have different gradient here. Um, yeah, let me show you how it works with no hover. You can remove hover and this effect will be applied to um, your text. Yeah, just like that. And uh, let me show you why I'm not using a class for uh, h1 tag. Uh, let's remove this class from here and add it here. I can also remove this span so yeah it looks like it was before uh, but now uh, it looks kind of correct uh, but if i will remove this line you will see that now uh, gradient goes not um, from the beginning of the text uh, but it goes from the beginning of the block and it looks correct now but if we're going to use 90 degrees uh, it will be not exactly what we want. Just let me copy these colors so to make it more visual. Yeah, and now when uh, I remove this thing, you see that the mask starts at the beginning of this block, not at the beginning of the text. And that's why it's not exactly what we want. Some colors are here, so we don't see them. And that's why you cannot apply this thing to H1 because it will be applied to, uh, well, to the whole block. But we need to create span uh, tag to make it, um, well, to make it work correctly. 
and uh, closing tag. Yeah, now that's what we want. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope everything was clear. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or uh, make any comments. Um, goodbye.